Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the civilian presence module and I'm just going to show you quickly how to um, use it and it's, uh, it's really easy to use and it just gives your missions an uh, extra bit of um, spice, okay? So first thing, I'm going to just drop down this guy so I can actually show you what's going on. Okay, so go to your modules, go to your systems and what you want to search in is civilian presence and you're going to get three modules come up and the first one is the first one I'm going to drop down and this is the area which the civilians will spawn in and move around in and of course this can be changed in the transformation so let's say I want it 200 by 200 you can, you can make it a circle as well if you suit that but uh, this basically just means that the civilians ro roam further than this circle okay so if you click on this you can actually change how many um, how many civilians you want in this area so I'm gonna go for about 20 the maximum is 30 so you can have 30 people in one area at one time and this is a very simplified AI behavior so it uses very little um, stress on the server because there's no computing power for them barely anything and you want to click use panic action as well so this means when a civilian sees something or get shot at they'll flee and take cover and agents it's basically just controls things should be created um, as agents so just units is simplify behavior so very simple AI they'll just roam around and walk around okay right so if I drop down this marker we're gonna get the options to either put as a cover waypoint a cover and a waypoint or just a waypoint so I'm gonna make the waypoints first so I'm gonna unclick this box which uses close to building I'm gonna actually turn it to one civilian it can be at this waypoint at any time and I'm basically just copy this around the map a load of times and I usually like to put them on like roads, in courtyards, in like junctions and stuff. So uh, the civilians will actually move around and they'll actually go to these points. And uh, this is how they, you can make them uh, like to just go around their daily lives, just doing shit. So uh, it's pretty cool. Let's put this one here, put another one down here, put one down here, maybe put one here. So just drop them into the air uh, where you want them to go. Very simple put one there put one there cool once you do that next we need to set up where they're gonna um, take cover so you, you want to select the cover and because there's not a lot of buildings you want some because events take cover in about six events say so take a look what buildings we've got so just remember this one's the uh, cover waypoint so let's go into the game and be careful because some buildings aren't sensible on some maps so you want we want to place on enterable buildings so place one here uh, is this sensible? Yep, this is sensible. I'm going to place one in here. Uh, I'm going to place one in the tin shack over here, because that's sensible. Uh, this one's sensible as well. Put one there. So you can go into that one. Uh, these aren't. This one isn't. Don't face anything down there. Uh, probably just need one more building, because we did put 20 down. Or we'll just increase the yen. Uh, I'll increase this one to where. Uh, Eight, say that should be good. Okay, next one is the uh, civilian presence spawn point. You, you don't have to change everything about this. This is just where they spawn in. So I like to keep this hidden, like in maybe in behind a building or something, just so it because we don't like the um, the players to be seeing a, 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 a um, civilian just spawn in in front of them, which is kind of like um, immersion breaking. So put one here, and I'm gonna put one here. Cool. Now we're just gonna head into the game. Right, so as you see, we got the, uh, the map as normal. So the civilians just start spawning in right now. You should see them start walking on the roads. Let's have a look, Let's see if we can find one. Hello, anybody about? Hmm. Where are you, brothers? Hello. Let's hop into spectator see if we can see him for that. Huh. If I miss something out, oh there you are, there he is. 
There you go, they're starting to spawn now. So there's one. And they are the vanilla um, the civilians, the uh, Atlas civilians. And uh, there's not a way that you can change that, um, unfortunately. That's just how, how they spawn in. So you can't really change what they look like, but uh, it's good enough. So yeah, so you can see that. So it starts spawning in. Very simple on the server. Barely any processing power. So yeah, so if I shoot in <laughs> See how they flee? And what they'll do, he's going to run to his nearest um, waypoint where he can take cover at. Or just run away. Some of them run away, some of them take cover. So. But yeah, it's just, um, it's quite good. It's uh, quite realistic. I like, I like it. Uh, it just adds a bit more spice to a mission and, you know, if you want to give an excuse why the players can't use artillery, uh, this is an excuse because they don't want to fucking bomb the civilians, so it's quite good. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, um, and I hope I found you help this helpful for your uh, mission making. Uh, cheers guys.